This amateur video shows the final shootout with police outside the synagogue. The attack took place here in Haranof, a religious neighborhood in Jerusalem. The terrorists burst into the synagogue behind me, then shot and stabbed the people as they gathered for early morning prayers. Two terrorist Palestinians from East Jerusalem entered inside the synagogue. They were armed with knives, axes and a pistol. The synagogue was packed at the time with people praying in peace and quiet. And uh, as a result of this terrorist attack where shots were fired and innocent people were sadly attacked, four Israelis were pronounced dead at the scene. We go inside, we see people just laying down with uh, this Jewish uh, tefillin and talit covered with blood. Uh, part of them, I'm not sure if they were sh shot or uh, just cut up or, I mean, stabbed. Uh, you know, you run from a person to person, check who's alive, who's not alive. You know, every face you see, you, want, you hope it's not your brother or your brother-in-law, father-in-law, parents, because, you know, we live in this neighborhood. Residents of the quiet area, home to many English speakers, were in shock. They came into a quiet neighborhood. It's not in East Jerusalem or occupied territories, any of that lexicon. They came in here to people who were praying and killed them in, while they're praying in cold blood. People who are going to come home to take the kids to school, the kids are sitting at home or actually walking around over here wondering where their fathers are. We would expect the world to wake up and realize what we're dealing with. Everybody expects us to do peace, to make peace. We want peace. We pray for peace three times a day. But at the same time, you know, we need, we need partners. Hamas immediately praised the attack, calling the terrorists heroes. And while the Palestinian Authority condemned the attack, Israel's government blamed the PA for its incitement. Ultimately, today what is needed is for the international community to unequivocally condemn uh, the Palestinian Authority for competing with the Islamist radicals in, in propagating a culture of violence and hatred. Uh, that must cease immediately and the international community must hold the PA accountable. Four members of the Harnov community went to pray early in the morning at the Sons of the Torah Synagogue. They never came home. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Harnov, Jerusalem.